The first person I ever called Godfather was Vito Corleone. I only met him a couple of times. I was just a soldier for the family back then. Times were tough. We were at war. Assassins even gunned down Vito. Sonny, his eldest, fought back while the Don recovered and paid the price. Michael, the youngest brother behind Fredo, took over the reins. He and Tom led a war against the five families. They pulled the strings, and my boss, Aldo Trapani, pulled the trigger. He's Michael's right-hand man now, running the family in New York. These days, opportunity is everywhere. But so are new families, fighting for their share. It took a man like Hyman Roth to get everyone to the table. We're gonna divide up Cuba, get richer than we ever could back in the States. This'll be good for the family, and for me. My name is Dominic. Bring it here, let me see it. My age had better be correct. I am always accurate about my age. May you live to 100, Mr. Roth. Congratulations. Cheers. Congratulations. Salute. Well, the doctors might disagree, but what do they know? <laughs> These are wonderful things we've achieved in Cuba. This government knows how to help business to encourage it. The hotels here are bigger and swankier than any of the rug joints we put up in Vegas. Not all the hotels. <laughs> Michael Corleone's accepted, of course. But the point I'm making is this, that now we have what we have always needed, real partnership with the government. Salud. Salud. And at the time of my retirement, I turn over all my interests in the Cuba operation to you, my partners, to the Corleone family and Aldo Trapani, the Hotel Capri. Grazie. The National will go to Rico Granados and the Sevilla Biltmore to Samuel Mangano, here with us all the way from Sicily. The rest of you will also share in handling my non-casino operations. Gentlemen, rebels and petty criminals are Cuba's past. We are its future. Lachaim. Gendan, salute. What's on your mind, Dominic? How are you enjoying Cuba? It's great, Michael. I like the little things here, you know? Nice change of pace from New York. That's good. When this deal is done, we're gonna do great things in this country. Tomorrow's a new year, my friend. The start of a new future for the Corleone family. Salud. To the future. By the way, where did Aldo go? He went downstairs for the New Year's celebration. You should talk to him. Make sure everything is set for tomorrow's meeting. Your brother is making the right decision, Fredo. I know. Mikey's got a good head on his shoulders. Once the deal's done, you should open a hotel here. I could do that. Someplace nice. Roll the high rollers. Do it the food. For me, Cuba first, then America. I cannot be spread too thin. Orleone pony them two million. How do they say it? Feliz Nuevo Año or something? Close. Boss, you all right? Michael wanted me to make sure that everything's set for tomorrow's meeting. Don't worry about it, Dominic. It's taken care of. I'm just anxious to get back to New York. I don't like it here. I don't trust what the president says, you know, about the rebels. I just want to get out of here. Come on, Aldo. You really think the rebels are going to be a problem? Yeah, I do. You know what I saw on my way over here? I saw a rebel being arrested. And instead of being taken alive, he exploded a grenade hidden in his jacket. 
they can win. Look, boss. One man with one grenade is hardly going to take down an army. I know. It's just I got a bad feeling being here. Look, I'll be better after tomorrow. Let's get this New Year's stuff over with, finish the deal, and go back to New York. There you guys are. Aldo, is everything set for tomorrow's meeting? Of course, Michael. Don't worry about a thing. Senoras y senores, due to serious setbacks to our troops in Guantanamo and Santiago, my position in Cuba is untenable. I am resigning from office to avoid further bloodshed. Regresen a sus hogares. Abandonen sus carros en el hotel. Yo debo dejar la ciudad inmediatamente. I wish you all good luck. Lead on. There's an exit in the back. It'll be safer that way. If they catch us, we'll be detained for months. Get us out of here, Aldo. Dominic, take us out the back. Right over there! We'll be safer away from the crowd. You should take off, muchacho. A la chingada! Get ah, kill these guys! Vamos a hacer picadillo! Ah, no more! Good job. Sounds like a huge That's mob outside. Think you're tough? They're rioters. Oh. They're not dangerous. But watch out for the rebels. Pull that gun out, Dominic. Revolution! Shoot! Rápido! Tiene un arma! Libertad!
Speed up. I can get us through here. trying to get out. Look, Jesus, there's so many of them. Michael, I'm sorry. Aldo... Aldo was family. I can help. When we get back to New York... I want you to make sure his mother's taken care of. Okay, Mikey. Okay. What do we do now? Roth's plan for Cuba was the one thing keeping the families from tearing at each other's throats. We needed this country. You don't think the rebels are gonna win? They've already won, Fredo. Michael, I mean, what do we do now? Our family, what about us? Nobody was going to touch New York while Aldo was in charge. Everyone will want a peace now. His own men will probably turn on each other if they think it's to their advantage. It's only a few of them I trust anyway. But I trust you with my life. Dominic, I want you to be boss, and I want you to have your own family. I trust that you can run New York, Dominic. Will you do this for me? Yes, Michael. I will. Tony and Carmine Rosado are out. Out for good. Took what they had, started their own gangs. Took what we had? Diamond Roth in Florida. He's backing up those sons of bitches. The Rosados never had the Colleoni. And now what? They're taking over, taking hostages. Not without help. Not without Roth. Frank, Hyman Roth isn't a part of this. Mikey's right, Frank. The Rosado brothers always been angry. Ever since Clemenza died? No. No. That was no heart attack. In any case, that's the situation. We know they're running sanitation and construction, and we know Carmine's fixing fights. Yeah, and who's too? Ain't that Roth's game? And La Vegana? Junk? Dope? I want them dead! Frank! Frank Pentangeli. You've been loyal to this family for years. I know, Michael. But after Cuba, my business with Hyman Roth is very important. These accusations aren't fair to him or me. Fair? You give your loyalty to him before your own blood? Come on, Frankie. You know my father did business with Hyman Roth. He respected him. Your father did business with Hyman Roth. Your father respected Hyman Roth. But your father never trusted Hyman Roth. Are you through? Good. Dominic, stay focused on the Rosado brothers. Combine's weak. Always has been. Send them a message. Prove to me that I was right about you. I need to talk to you. Frank, I'm gonna take care of Carmine Rosado. Let me deal with him. Of course you will. You're the boss, and Carmine's a Stugatz. Couldn't find his ass if he was sitting on his two hands. But that stupid bum's got half of New York. Don't that tell you something? That someone's pulling his strings? No. All it tells me is that Carmine's got some loyal men. Well, loyalty counts. For something. Even with the Rosado brothers. It means something to me too, Frank. I can't take on Carmine by myself. I need people. People that I can trust. Do you have any loyal button men that I could enlist? Sure, Dominic. I drove here with a few associates. They're good men. They've all earned their bones. I think they're ready to be made. You'd be doing one of them an honor if you choose to bring him into your family.
There's a lot of money to be made out there, if you got the skills. I got the skills, you got the work. What do you want to know about me? You got any skills I should know about? I can burn down a house with a single book of matches, which uh, explains why I moved around a lot as a kid. Am I in? You're in. Welcome to the family. Frank's a good man, but his temper can be a problem. These accusations about Hyman Roth have to stop. They're insulting to us both. I'll keep an eye on him. Don't worry. Good. Dominic, just remember to stay focused. You're boss now. Make a name for yourself. Let Carmine know that you run New York. If we can knock off one of Carmine's rackets, it'll break his hold on the cops. If my tailor, like I said, you'd be with us. <laughs> Except for you. I'd say Carmine, where it'll hurt the most is brothels. Those damn whorehouses are giving him too much influence. That's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna start with the cat house, the one fronted by that big. And nothing and no one can tear us apart. Lack of ice cream. Lack of ice cream. Anybody got a smoke? Over here. I'm coming. Yo, what do you think you're doing? Turn up the pressure, Dominic. Don't, don't, don't kill fuck him. Fuck with we me. We need him alive. Hey. What's that? Jump him. I'll be damned. Another hard ass about to get soft. <coughs> Lock tight, boss. They're blood. Go on give your up. hands. You bitch. Some days, I don't think boss to place up. I want in. Now. Fine. You want in? Go ahead. Move. The movies I make, they're only legal in certain parts of this. Eres... Eres mío. Look, I don't care what you do here. I think you're cute. Beautiful, even. Think a guy like me could ever be your main squeeze? Baby, you had me from the moment you walked in the door. Right over there! I could use some company later, comprende? Who is that? Time to dry up. Let me see, you and me get out of here. Oh. Jesus Christ! Ain't no one coming for you now. Everyone has to go sometime. Family. There. 
Thanks for being a dope boy, dear. All I gotta do is pull the trigger. Stop! You can work this out. Look at it. He's toast. If you talk to him now, he'll give in. What? I want a cut of all the action that comes through here. You got it? Fine, the place is yours. I just hope you know what you're getting into. Let's Sounds stick good. together. Shit, he's over here! Move! Over here. Ah, the pussy here ain't bad. But if I was running the place, it'd be making ten times what it's pulling in now. It's got potential. Like you. You're real boss material, Dominic. What's your next move? I want to bring in more income. Keep this place guarded and take Carmine down a few notches while I'm at it. That's a good plan. Yeah, be an earner. Best bet is to launder some money through a legit business. A bar, a restaurant, a whatever. Cut a deal with a shopkeeper. He'll throw a little your way, and you'll get a bigger cut from your rackets. You worked with the Rosado brothers back in Clemenza's day. What do you know about them? They used to be friendly to us. But Tony always thought he deserved more. Him turning, I can understand. But Carmine, he's a stupid fuck. Must be out of his mind if he thinks he can be a Don. Anything else you can tell me? Sure, but keep this between you and me. I don't like what's happened to this city. I work with Don Vito, I work with Clemenza, and I don't have to tell you they deserve respect. But it's like these last ten years, they don't mean nothing. My gang's across the bridge, scraping by, and the families here recruit scum. They recruit filth. They got no respect for how we do business. It ain't right. Honestly, you just can't trust the government. Ready for some fun. Let's lean on a few shopkeepers, see what they got in the till. Ah, the protection game. Just like old times, right? He's over there! That's the one in charge. <clears throat> don't curtain call for you, punk. You don't want to stay down there forever, do you? Get out of here! Mess with me. Anyone want to jump in? All right. Okay. Found the owner. Oh, God. You cracked a rip. Hold up. Be 
over here. Clean up on aisle two. What else you got in this place? Is this gonna help you find the cash? You wanna die? Is that it? Hey, look at me. If my men come back here later, it ain't gonna be for shopping. It'll be for fucking your shit up. You understand me? I'm done with this bullshit. Fuck you. I wanted to do this the easy way, but now it's only gonna get worse. Unless you give me the money. That's it. End of discussion. If I hear no one more time, I'm gonna cut your fucking face. Now give me the money. I'm done with this bullshit. Hold out on me again, and I'm gonna take a finger, and then another, and then another, till you pay. That's it. End of discussion. Having oh. trouble breathing? You want... Why don't you show a little respect, huh? That's quite a bargain. I think you screwed up my tab last time. charge. That gun away. Get out of here! Some days, I just want to boss the place up. No more! Okay! Found the owner. The gun. Don't point that thing at me! Break it and buy it! But that don't hurt you don't want anything bad to happen to your shop, do you? Or that sweet little face of yours. You need protection. Get me? Okay, okay, you'll get the money. Every week, I swear. Running late again. She is gonna be pissed. guys. Not in this neighborhood, dirtbag. Gotcha. I took it for a test drive, but it was all show and no go. I got him! What was your daddy a glass maker? <clears throat> Get out of my sight. Hey, let me in on the action. <clears throat> Fight! <clears throat> you don't want to stay down there forever, <clears throat> do you? Go! 
go. Over here. Drop it. Please, you fucking Put asshole. Nice place you run here. It'd be a shame to see it burned to the ground. Understand? Please, just take the money and leave me alone, okay? We can take over that next racket, not without help. Yeah, it's locked up pretty tight. I should call Michael, see how he wants this done. Later. Sometimes a family will call you on a payphone. Hello. Dominic, it's Michael. Meet me back at the compound. We need to talk about Carmine Rosado. You and your friend better walk. We got a new biz today? All business is good business, I see. I got my eye on one of those skirts from the brothel. Wonder how far she'll go. Come on, dumbass. Stay focused here. Besides, she'll probably just give you the clap. This ain't no roller derby, man! Go back and talk to Don Corleone. I think Carmine's finally getting the message that your boss of this city, not him. Now he's getting the message all right, loud and clear. I just hope I've put enough guards at my new places. Keep them defended, Dominic. Carmine will try to take them back sooner or later. I know, but I don't want to be spread too thin. If Carmine's planning what I think he's planning, then I'm gonna need more muscle. Another soldier. I agree. Frank will probably know some good places to find a recruit. Make sure to get someone whose skills complement your own. Don't ever assume your enemies will stay still. They're always planning, just like us. Having another soldier will give you an edge over whatever Carmine has up his sleeve. Don't catch me slacking off. Dom likes me best. That's why I get the right shotgun. Frank, it's time to add some fresh blood to the family. Another soldier already? Michael must be serious about hitting Carmine. That's great news. You'll need the extra muscle. Believe me. I'm gonna need someone with the right skills. Any specialties I should be looking for? It depends. You want firepower? 
you should recruit an arsonist or a demolitions guy. If you want someone who's good outside of a fight, maybe an engineer or a safe cracker. But you can't go wrong with a doc or a hitman, neither. I only want the best, Frank. You know New York better than anyone. Where can I find the top guys? Yeah. Associates will hang out at any of your businesses, hoping they get noticed by you, capiche? So go back to your turf every now and then and see who's around. Of course, there's the occasional lone wolf, too. Always keep your eyes peeled for guys who want to join the family, Dominic. Next time, you smash, I grab. Carmine's racket is locked up tight, but a guy with the right skills could get us in, like an engineer or a demolitions expert. To get into that next racket, we'll need someone with skills. Like a demolitions guy or a lockpicker. I know, which is why I need to recruit another guy. Don't worry, we can still ride shotgun. Hey, slow down. Ain't that... Nah, must have been someone else. I need a good soldier, someone who can hold his own. That you? You can't go wrong with me and your family. What do you want to know about me? So, what can you bring to the table? I'm skilled at demolitions. You want something blown up or torn down? I'm your man. We gonna do some business? As they'd say in the real world, you're hired. She left quick. I'm out of sure, here. It was just a misunderstanding. What part of go away? I never want to see you again. Did All right, you time to take over that last fucking racket. Okay, Dominic, that big brothel is next. <laughs> Carmine won't know what hit him. The fuck he won't. Carmine's not that dumb. He'll know it was us, but I don't care. Let's do this thing. Careful, I see trouble coming. You should take that new soldier out. You put him through his paces. Come back. I used to be a centerfold, you know. So what? You What up? Need me to take care of that? We got some time, but we don't want to walk out of here. Solid.
Bingo bango. Asshole. Let him rip. Let's stick together. Found the owner. This isn't happening. What's that? Jump think him. This is bad. Do it, Dom. Lights out. Fight. You want your girls to stay safe? Then why are you working with these assholes? Let me run this place, okay? All right. You want this racket? It's yours. Take it. Yeah, boss. Carmine must be hurting now. No doubt. That's a lot of bread he's missing out on. I don't trust him, boss. I bet Carmine tries to pull this shit again. Well, if he does, we'll be ready for him. We should let Michael know that everything's okay. This racket's a big piece of the puzzle. We'll own this town yet. You can't want to watch your step. Frank, things are getting hot. I need a place to rearm. Ditch the cops. Yeah, I know a place. There's a block of old apartments downtown. Michael and me will meet you there. I'll see you soon. I got a bad feeling, Dominic. Carmine Rosado's up to something. Where's this place that you're meeting Don Corleone? No, no. Some old apartment building. God, I hope nothing's wrong.
Frank, what are we doing here? It's your new place. Here. The key to the castle. Enjoy. Some castle? This place is a shithole. What are you, a decorator? It ain't the Taj Mahal. It's a safe house. Look, you want to shake the cops? You come here. You need ammo, guns? You come here. Come on, get inside. We're under attack. They want their turf back. Why are we meeting here? Are we in some kind of danger? No. I wanted to give you this apartment. It belonged to a man who worked for my father. Luca Brazzi. It's a good place to disappear. We're Dons, Michael. Men like us can't just disappear. We need to settle things with Carmine. Make him pay for those attacks on my businesses. Payback could lead to war. But I can't say I disagree. No. You're right. It's time to send them a message. Then it's settled. I'm gonna put a hit out on one of Carmine's made men. They've been leading the attacks, and I don't think they're gonna let up. If I don't deal with them now, they'll just keep attacking. And taking out one of his soldiers, it will also weaken Carmine's family. Permanently. You're calling the shots, Dominic. You can put a hit on anyone, whenever you decide the time is right. The family takes orders from you. <laughs> I'm making the call, Frank. We're putting a hit out on one of Carmine's soldiers. Good. Let's get them all. Let's get them all now, while we got the muscle. We'll get them, Frank. One by one. But not without the right information first. Right. You need to get some dirt on your target first. Find out where he is, where he hangs out. Talk to the right people. Do him a favor. You'll get the info you need. One at a time, Frank. But it has to be permanent. Send them a message. To do that, you gotta snuff the guy so it'll get everyone's attention. Pay attention to the intel. Strangle him. Maybe put a bullet between his eyes, you know? It's gotta scare the family stiff. Otherwise, you'll never weaken them. Slow down, Dominic. Get out, now, and you won't get hurt. See you around the horn. If you need a favor, I'm listening. Yeah, feel like letting your dogs off the leash for a bit? There's a guy I know who needs to learn a lesson. How about it? Don't worry. You can count on me. Okay, so I loaned my stepbrother a thousand bucks. That was a month ago. Now he says he don't even remember the loan at all. I don't even care about the cash no more. I just want him to have a thousand bucks worth of hospital bills. Understand? Yes. Hey, stop fighting! I see him! Cop, over there. That I don't the like guy. the looks of this. Uh, you fucker! Come the cops. Move, move, move.
here. Oh. Shit, over here. Giving you three seconds, shithead. Taking out one of Carmine's made men? This could lead to war. That's all right. It's gonna happen every time. Helps get rid of the bad blood. Don't squeeze too hard, Dom. You don't want to stay down there forever, do you? I don't see the cops anymore. I think we're clear. Rosado really fucked himself this time, thinking he could take you on. Take us on, you mean. Good work back there. Die. Leave it to the cops to ruin the party. We gotta go! Holy Sophia Loren, did you see her? Hey, circle the block, would you? You're going down! Carmine's next move. You heard anything from him? Hello. Is this Dominic? Yeah, who's this? Carmine Rosado. Carmine. Look, I'm sorry about the attack. Truth is, I, I can't always control my men. You better learn to straighten them out. I know, I know. Look, Dominic, I want a truce. Let's talk peace, okay? Okay, talk. Not now, not over the phone. Meet me at Richie's Tavern. We can talk then. <laughs> Who needs a color TV? What's the point? It's not like Carmine to offer an olive branch. Something's not right. No, Cover I me. believe him. He's weak. He's got nowhere to go. A truce makes sense. Move over so I can get out, okay? okay? One step closer to Carmine Rosado himself. Dominic! You were supposed to be here already. I couldn't help it. Cabby dropped me off on the wrong corner. Well, get in. Buongiorno, gentlemen. What's this? It's a lucky scene for our truce. Richie, get us some drinks. 
I don't like to see no Carmine. I take that as an insult. I'm sorry. It's our way. We're all really happy about your decision. About the peace. You're not gonna regret it. Mm-hmm. Hey, wh where's our drinks? Can't make a truce without a toast, huh? <laughs> Michael Corleone says so all. Get his head in. A cop, what the fuck? Hey, Rich, do you open or closed? Carmine, no! No, not here! Don't make me fucking shoot. Don't do it. Else. This business with Carmine ain't through. Not by a long shot. It'll be through soon. That son of a bitch will pay for it with Frank.
What the hell's going on here? Pentangeli's dead. It's Carmine. The truce was a setup. You should have seen it coming, Dominic. Why would Carmine betray me? It doesn't make any fucking sense. No, and neither does this truce. Someone must be pulling his strings. Let me tell you something. I can't let him get away with this. No more negotiations, no more tricks. I'm gonna enlist another soldier, and we're going to war. Good. Recruit the best man you can find. You can win this, Dominic. And after you've taken over all of Carmine's businesses, New York will belong to your family, and no one else. I know, Michael. Carmine fucked up. He messed with the wrong boss. It's time he gets what he deserves. Dominic, you can't buy your way out of a dead cop rap. I need your ride. Fuck this! Those assholes find us. There's one, I see him! Put down you the... gonna cooperate? Down they go. Good shot. Stay close, all right? We're being attacked. Need me to take care of that? The only way you're gonna run this racket is if you deal with me. Am I clear? This racket's all I got, so fuck you. I'm ah! hit! He's on the move! We gotta pull back. But all I gotta do is pull the trigger. Hey, come on. Hey, oh. 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 You wanna run this place from an emergency room? Because that's where you're headed, my friend. Nice, I get your point. The racket's yours, okay?
it up. Want me to blow it up? We got some time, but we don't want to walk out of here. Please, I didn't do anything. Hey, wasn't Don Corleone supposed to contact you? Hello. Dominic, it's Michael. It's time to talk. Meet me at your safe house downtown. I'll see you soon. I bet I know what's on the Don's mind. One thing, revenge. If it's revenge he wants, I'm happy to oblige. Hang tight. We'll be seeing the dawn soon. Michael, New York is mine. I control everything. Then it's just between you and Carmine now. No, it's over between me and Carmine. I want him dead. It's your call, Dominic. You've got him on the ropes. He's probably holed up in his compound with whatever men he's got left. Then that's where it's gonna happen. That's where we're gonna end this war. An assault on Carmine's compound won't be easy. But your family's strong. You're a good man, Dominic. And a good Don. I know you'll succeed. Once you wipe out Carmine, his family will be gone forever. Hope I'm ready for this. If Carmine knows we're coming, we could be walking into a trap. He doesn't have any options left, so I gotta assume he knows what we're up to. to guarantee the Carmine dies is to blow up his compound. Remember, don't leave until we blow this place up. Over there. This way? There's probably a couple ways in. Keep your eyes Fun peeled. Move. Got it. Drop it! Take it down.
motherfucker! You betrayed me, Carmine. You killed Pentangeli. And now, you are gonna die. Fuck you, Dominic. Fuck you! If you kill me, my brother will hunt you down. You and all you Corleone cocksuckers, he'll make you pay! Now you're asking for it. Ugh. I'll get you back for this. Over here, Bob, Chief. We got some time, but we don't want to walk out of here. I see you. Okay, move. We gotta get out of here. Florida's nice. That's not a bad idea. Who do we know down there? Remember Mr. Roth? Wonder what he's up to. Is this Dominic? Yes. Who's this? Hyman Roth. We met in Cuba, remember? Of course. Mr. Roth, how are you? Good. News travels fast, my friend. I've heard you've made quite a name for yourself in New York. Thank you. Dominic, I'll be quick. I have an opportunity for you here in Florida. I'd like to speak with you in person. Fredo's here too. He can meet you at the airport. Until then, take care. <laughs> Back in that compound, I thought for sure we were goners. Nice car. Too bad I won it. You know where the Let airport is, right? Need. Yeah, Professor. I know where it is. Would you like a ticket, sir? Okay, enjoy the flight. Oh, sorry. Dominic! Fredo! Oh, there's even a better town on the beach. Yeah? Oh, yeah, you're gonna love Florida. Let me take that. Let's go. So Carmine Rosado, he's um He's not gonna be bothering us anymore. It's Tony's family. Hey, watch it! Easy, easy. You don't know how to drive down here. Listen, 
Danny's gang of small potatoes, they ain't the reason Mr. Roth called you. He mentioned a family. Yeah, the Granados. Ever since Cuba, it's been nothing but war with those guys. What's their business? Guns, girls, whatever they can get their dirty hands on to make a buck. And their boss, old man Rico, he's trouble. Made his money in construction. Probably buried a body under every house he's built. But he's connected all the way to the top. Is that so? That's why Mr. Roth called you here. Well, hopefully I'll like what Mr. Roth has to say. So, where does Mr. Roth want to meet? At his house. Ain't far from here. Don't look like a millionaire lives there. But that's just Mr. Roth's style. I guess he don't like to draw attention to himself. It's been a while since I've seen Mr. Roth. Not since Cuba. Is he up to anything? Nah, Mr. Roth ain't changed in 60 years. Got his star running molasses out of Cuba. My pop supplied him with the trucks. He don't smuggle sugar no more, but the game's the same. Making money. What's he worth? Anybody know? Officially? He ain't worth more than that deed to the shack he calls a home. But that's just a cover. Mr. Roth's got millions. Hundreds of millions. He got in on Las Vegas back when it was just a watering hole for G.I.s. He's making money off every casino out there. Florida seems like your kind of place, Fredo. Oh, yeah, it's great. Always sunny, beautiful women. Every place plays this great music. They call it salsa. Yeah, stick around a while. You'll like it here. Let me know when you need me. on the radio. Uh, Mr. Roth is a great man. I remember hearing stories about him when I was just getting started in the life. I got my Mr. Roth, how are you? I, I haven't seen you since... Not since Cuba. I heard you got out safe. I'm sorry about Aldo. He was a good man. Thank you. He was a good boss. My friends tell me you're a good boss, too. A great one, in fact. A man who knows how to get things done lead in battle. You know how to take out a family. You mean Carmine Rosado? I mean the Granados. They're pricks. Especially their boss, Rico. He pulls a few connections downtown, and suddenly he thinks he runs everything. He's got no respect for the way we do business. So why don't you do something about it? Because they've kidnapped one of my men. I can't make a move while the Granados have a hostage. They're watching me. But they're not watching you. Rescue him, Dominic, and I'll know that what they say about you is true. I'll know I made the right call. These kidnappers don't know who they're messing with. Granados are taking hostages, they must mean business. That's why I don't want to take any chances. The second you see these guys, drop them. Oh God. Who's got me covered? I like to be doing things, okay? Not talking about doing things. I'm just saying, gotcha. It's too good to be true, Chief. You got company.
bullets. What's it gonna be? Run. You okay? Yeah. These guys were talking about pouring me in concrete. Sent a message to Roth. Fucking A. That's not how I want to go. They found out I was an inside man getting info on a smuggling racket. They're bringing automatics into Florida. New models. Hot shit. Whoever owns these babies is gonna run this town. I bet Mr. Roth will want to know his guy's alive. Mr. Roth, your man is safe. I know. Thank you. Listen, there's a little suburb nearby. Meet me there. I want to give you something. Nice bumping into you. Could sure use some extra manpower, Dominic. I know. I'm gonna recruit somebody. Add some fresh blood to the family. Your man's safe, Mr. Roth. He may be a little scratched up, though. He's seen worse, believe me. To show my thanks, I want you to have this home. It used to be my safe house during the Prohibition. Today, it's yours. I appreciate that. Thank you. So, Prohibition, huh? This place must have quite a history. There might be a few casks of rum still buried in the Foundation somewhere. But, Dominic, I didn't contact you only about the house. There's one other thing I wanted to tell you. You, of all people, should know how important a capo can be for a family. You really should promote one of your men. Appoint him as your cabo regime. Being a leader will make him stronger, and he can do more for the family. This is important, Dominic, because the Granados and Tony Rosado will be coming for you. And you must be ready for them. 
Dominic's crew now hiring. We need somebody, Chief. Not a bad place, huh? I prefer to sweep back at my hotel, but hey, beggars can't be choosers, right? Think about it, Fredo. If I take out the Granados, the money I can make here, it'll be like robbing Fort Knox. Well, the Granados ain't just gonna roll over because you said boo. You gotta get an upper hand first. No one to call in a favor. Like if someone you know has an ammo connection, call him before a fight. Maybe a cop loses some evidence, get a guy out of jail. Hell, even a G-man could call in a sting for you. Everyone keeps saying that Rico Granados is connected. That he has friends in high places. What do you know about that? Yeah, the mayor, police chief, even some of the union bosses. Rico's got them all in his pocket. But if you do them a favor, they might do something nice in return. It's worth paying those guys a friendly visit. The Granados ain't like the Rosado brothers. They're organized and they're connected. You gotta think a couple moves ahead with these guys. Let's show these Granados douchebags how we do things in New York. <laughs> Listen to you. Fucking General Patton over here. All right, I'm out of here. What the hell? Do not fart in my presence, understood? Ease it away, but not for long. Let me know. We're under attack. They want their turf back. I could lift her skirt without using my hands. Is a bad place? Good riddance. Get away. Drop He's it. Kill her. Show yourself.
He's armed! that right look at you you can't run this place for shit not without me and my men got it this racket is meal so fuck off Lankati. that's the one in charge locked and loaded don't oh. don't shoot me ah, I'll give you the cash. Don't hold out on me, motherfucker. You give me what I want, or it might be your body on the floor next time. You got it? Okay, Jefe. You can have the racket. Just lay off me. Mis respetos. You better watch it. Hey, talk to me. It's Hyman Roth. Oh, Mr. Roth. Hello. You don't have to be formal with me, Dominic. Listen, swing by my house when you have some time. There's more business to discuss. <laughs> Nice car. Too bad I want it. Fuck this! What the hell do you think you're doing? What do you think Mr. Roth's game is, huh? He acts like some retired old fart, but there's no way he's out of the life. Not yet. I don't know. He always had his eyes set on Cuba. Are you trying to get Roth his Roth still thinks it's the land of opportunity. We gonna see Mr. Roth now? My gut tells me he's got some important news. What's the score? It's tied. I like listening to football in the afternoon. Baseball, too. I've loved baseball ever since Arnold Rothstein fixed the World Series in 1919. I'm sure he made a lot of people very angry. He also made a lot of people very rich. It's only a crime if you get caught. If not, it's only business. There's a lot we can learn from sports. Invest in the future, Dominic. Expand your family. 
Recruit another soldier. You'll need the extra muscle to keep the Granados at bay. Remember, family members can be sent to defend the place even when you're not there. Businesses like football. Sometimes the best offense is a good defense. Christ, Fredo. It's like the more I make, the more I gotta spend. It ain't fair. Nothing's fair in business. You're holding all the aces, Dominic. People will want to come after you. If I just use guards to defend my rackets, how's it gonna affect my bottom line? They get paid every day, so it can get expensive. You gotta balance how much you're willing to spend with how much each business is worth. But you can always scale back if it gets to be too much. When your father's businesses were attacked, what would he do? Would he send his made men? Sometimes. Pop worried about putting his best men in danger like that. But let's face facts. That's what they're best at. Sure, they might get injured, but nothing turns a fight like having a cop or a soldier help out. Time to get us another pair of boots, eh, boss? Trying to hit our businesses, Dominic. You know who I am. You know what I'm capable of. So unless you want to end up dead, you'll hand over the racket. Okay, the racket's yours. Just lay off of me, all right?
think the radio's just wrong. Don't huh? shoot! Construction is where the money's at. We keep our hooks in it, and we can rebuild our buildings on the cheap. There's got to be a better way. The entire system is corrupt. They're just making money off of our hard work. What's going on? I can't get a flight out. Everything's closed. It's the airport workers. They're on strike. Whole place is shut down. Damn it. I need to get back to New York. What am I gonna do? Wait till it's over, and it's getting worse. Other places are threatening to strike too. Someone's been stirring up workers all over Florida, talking about organizing labor, pooling wages, picketing. What? Someone's pushing that commie bullshit here? Sounds like it. I don't know. Mr. Roth knows more about it than I do. He's here with the friend. They're out in the parking lot. You should talk to them. You gonna tell me where we're going next? The working class never gets a break. I'm like... It's me best. That's why I get to ride shotgun. Mr. Roth, good to see you. What brings you here? I'm here about this strike. It's disrupting our business. My friend and I have a vested interest in seeing the situation resolved quickly. His name is Henry Mitchell. He's an agent with the CIA. An agent? What is this? Dominic, relax. The CIA's our friend. They've been partners with this thing of ours for over a decade. They're in the intelligence business, my boy, that's all. We keep their noses clean. They keep us informed. Simple. Talk to them, okay? Standing around, twiddling our thumbs? Could have done this in a Hello, home. it's Dominic, right? I'm Henry Mitchell. If you're wearing a wire, you better tell me now. Take it easy. I'm on your side, okay? No wire. Mr. Roth and I have been working together for a long time. I called him when I heard about the strike. Eh. They're just a bunch of picketers. They'll cool off eventually. No, it's not them. It's the guy behind them. Alejandro Almeida. He's a Cuban-American and a fucking commie. He's stirring up the city's unions, encouraging violence. The whole situation's out of hand. The feds can't nail him, and local politicians seem unwilling to crack down on him. Yeah, he's probably got him blackmailed. What do you need our help for? Well, officially, I'm just supposed to gather intelligence on Alejandro. But Mr. Roth and I have discussed it, and something else must be done. I hope you understand what I'm saying when I tell you it's in both our interests. If Alejandro were to just... Disappear. I heard there was some shit going down at the airport. There's got to be a better way. The entire system is corrupt. Workers unite! Equal rights for everyone! A little space, please? The airline makes millions every day and they pay us squat. Listen to me. I'm only gonna ask this once. Where's Alejandro Almeida? Almeida is my friend. I'll never tell you. Never. this commie shithead worth your life? Then tell me, where's Almeida? Okay, okay. 
He and his men operate out of the old junkyard. It's not too far from here. I ain't buying her no dishwasher, that's for Leave the keys and get the fuck out. Holy shit! Fucking commie's been all over the news lately. It's cause they're here, in this country. God knows what they got planned. Too hot. See him over there. We got some punks sniffing around. Starm Daro. That's right. <laughs> It's finally over. Let's go back to New York. I'm with you. Let's go home. Oh, Christ. The floor's all 
sticky. Will you be flying with us today, sir? Okay, enjoy the flight. Hey, got one? I'm just thinking of letting my hair grow. I bet Don Corleone is waiting for you with the compound. Take her. They bombed one of our places, Dom. Say the word and we'll hit him back. Dominic, welcome back. Thanks. Uh, why all the men? What's, uh, what's going on? The government has me under investigation. They want to put me in prison. Wait for me in the parlor. The Senate is building a case. They have subpoenas for my businesses in Vegas, here, Florida. Dominic, they have someone who will testify against me. Who? Frank Pentangeli. Frank's dead. I, I saw him die. What you saw was Rosado setting me up. The detectives found him half dead, scared stiff, calling out loud that I turned on him. Me? It's been a while, son. I was Florida. It was good, Tom. Dominic, Tom Hagen has been my consigliere, and now my attorney. He's also family. If the Senate is coming for me, they'll be coming for him, too. I need to isolate him from my operations. He's going to join your family and be your consigliere. Tom will be removed from my payroll. Al Neri will handle the transition. Tom. Pay a visit to the senator. Dominic, you're making a name for yourself. Make sure people respect it. Goodbye. Consigliere, just like old times. It's good to have you in the family, Tom. I just wish it was under better circumstances. Me too. There's been a lot Mike hasn't been able to tell me. But it's safer this way for both of us. You're my consigliere, Tom. I won't keep any secrets from you. Now, who was Michael talking about earlier? What senator? His name is Pat Geary from Nevada. He's a chairman on the Senate committee that's investigating Michael. We're gonna get him on our side, Dominic. Before this trial sees the light of day. It won't be easy. He's a United States senator. We can't just pay him off like some backwater judge. We won't have to. Sex is Geary's weakness. He's depraved. We're gonna use this against him. There's a brothel nearby. Some of the girls there are managed by a woman named Rosa Scarlatti. She runs a national prostitution ring. Not really our stock and trade, but she's been loyal to the Corleones for years. I...
If Don Corleone goes to trial, shit, this whole thing of ours could be made public. Well, it's our job to make sure that don't happen. We got some punks sniffing around. Hey, you got any scratch? Oh, I can't get through this way. For a little salsa? it up. You want to bring it down, Cap? We got some time, but we don't want to walk out of here. It's gonna blow! Over here! Rosa, hello. My name is Dominic. I know who you are. Tom told me you were coming. Did he tell you why I'm here? He did, and I can help. But you guys are asking me to sacrifice a lot. A life. I won't play along just out of loyalty, Dominic. You'll have to do something for me first. It's a deal. So what do you want? I want protection. Look, the state of New York has evidence that can bring down my whole operation. But if they go to trial, a lot of powerful men will have their dirty laundry aired in public. Men who would rather see me dead than on the witness stand. All right. What kind of evidence? Books, records, basically a list of every Tom, Dick, and Harry I've done business with, including some men in Washington. The books are being held in a safe at the Federal Building. Get them back for me. Then I'll help you. Trying to hit our businesses, Dominic. They don't have to die. That's the one. Look out. Put the gun.
seconds. We should have been paying more attention to that place, boss. Fucking bitch. Monopoly's gone. Now what? If those beatniks don't like it here, they can move to Russia. I don't know. Gun! There's a lot of possibilities. Please, in that don't. Hill. Out of the car, and no one gets hurt. Not me. Take the wheel. Please tell me you've done something about those records. The state's got nothing on you, Rosa. Or your clients. You're all safe now. Good, then let's get down to brass tacks. I already started making arrangements with Tom. We have the room and we have the girl. If Gary ever shows up here, we'll be ready for him. Wait, you talked to Tom? When? Just now. He's here. He wanted to see the girl we'll set up with the senator. It wasn't easy knowing what will happen. But her time has come. She's an addict, bad for business. Maybe it's better this way. Yeah, I'm to lose some weight. What's wrong? Looks like you could use some help. Well, if you like dirty work, then yeah, I could use your help. There's this shopkeeper, been treating me like crap. I want to run him out of business. You interested? Sorry, toots. I ain't interested. It's Tom, it sounds like everything's all set. Almost. The only thing left now is to convince Senator Geary to pay a visit. He'll have to do it of his own accord. If Geary feels coerced into coming, he might see it as a setup. I know. That's why you have to be careful how you talk to him. I've arranged a meeting for you. The Senator thinks you want to talk about purchasing a company and that you need his help. Good. Now all I have to do is get Geary to take the bait. Best thing to do is to appeal to his vanity. Tell him you're having problems with the deal. Political problems, business problems, whatever seems to draw his attention. Geary's got connections. Make him think you're willing to deal if it'll get him on board. Now go, he's waiting for you. Last one, and it's back to the white. Hey, Waffle, like what you want, A fearless leader, bravely standing around, doing nothing again.
Ah, that hurt. You wearing steel toes? All those people, it looked like they might start mug out of here. Hey, we got some goombas over there. When do I punch out? That's the one in charge. Senator Geary, my name is Dominic. It's a pleasure to meet you. Likewise. This is a nice place your man Hagen found for us. But let's cut the bullshit. What did you want to talk to me about? Business, Senator. I have an opportunity to purchase a foreign company, but there are a few partners who refuse to sell. You know them. You worked at the Trust together. I was hoping you could help. So your money talks the talk, but it can't walk the walk, is that it? Let me guess. These guys looked into what you really do for a living. Didn't like what they saw. So why should I help you? Because nobody's connected like you, Senator. You pull strings every day. You're on every big ticket committee in Congress, and half of Wall Street owes you a favor. I need a man like you. You don't need me, then. You need my friends. But I'll tell you now, my friends don't like your friends. In fact, they despise your kind of people, and your silk suits and oily hair. Don't insult me, Senator. We're both part of the same hypocrisy, so never think you're above me. You know this deal is valuable to me, and it can be valuable to you, too. Are you gonna help me? Maybe. And I'll tell you why. Because if this deal's as valuable as you say, I'm gonna want to keep an eye on you. Because I don't think this is about some foreign company. What's really in it for you? Respect, Senator. I need your help because I'm tired of being in Michael Corleone's shadow. Is that such a bad thing? To make a name for myself? And if we get rich in the process, so be it. Now we're getting somewhere. Say it ain't about business or politics. It's about showing up your old boss. At least now you're being honest. So this deal, does anyone else know about it? No. Just you and me. No one else needs to get a cut. That's why I want to move fast, before others get involved. So I need to know. Are you in, or out? You know what? I don't have to like you, but I like your style. I'm in. I get my friends to help for a fee. But in deals like this, I usually expect there to be other benefits as well. Naturally. These partners have executive privileges at gentlemen's clubs all over America. If that's something that might interest you, I could make sure you get on the list, so to speak. Is that so? Yes. Well, indeed, I would like to be on that list. So to speak, of course. Well, Senator, as a token of my friendship, how would you like a complimentary stay at La Maison Rouge? In fact, feel free to visit any time you're in New York. You'll always be welcome. I like your style. Okay, Dominic, it's a deal. Thank you, Senator. I'll have Tom contact you with the details. You're all right. I'll see you around. Enjoy yourself, Senator. He's waking up. You should get over here. Thanks, Tom. Come on, step away. I thought we could help you. Hagen, listen. I did not. I didn't do anything. I know. It's okay. You're very lucky I was called before anyone else. Nobody knows. Just a game. I, I'll fix it. How did it happen? 
I remember. She was laughing. I passed out. When I woke up, I was on the floor. <laughs> Senator, we're putting a call into your office. Explain that you'll be there tomorrow afternoon. You decided to spend the night at one of our hotels as a guest. Jesus. Pat, look at me. This girl has no family. Nobody knows that she worked here. It'll be as if she never existed. All that's left is our friendship. You know when it's last call. So it's back to Florida, huh? I could use some company later, comprende? Dom likes me best. That's why I get the right shot. This is mine now. Somebody do something. This isn't happening. All right, I'll see you later. I know about the Manganos. Their boss runs their family like an army. They're tough as fucking nails, those guys. Well, I know Mangano. We were in Cuba together for Roth's meeting. He's an honest guy. I can't get out. We're under attack. They want their turf back. Would you like a ticket, sir? Enjoy your trip, sir. Thought I saw Don Corleone back there. You notice all the old people down here? They took the place, Cap. We can't let them do that to us. Fredo, did you miss me? Like I miss a hole in the head. Nah, Dominic. It's good to have you back in town. Michael, what are you doing here? I didn't tell anyone I was coming. I came to speak with you about the Mangano family. So Tom already told you. Good. Then you know they're here, in Florida. Yes. And Dominic, this is good for us. Samuel Mangano has strong business connections in Sicily. He's a powerful boss, and I respect him. He's always been loyal to his friends. Well, does he have any friends here in America? Anyone he's allied with? I don't think so. I suspect Samuel's entire Florida operation is being bankrolled by him alone. 
That's a big risk. Especially with the Granados so nearby. It's a risk he doesn't have to take. I'm gonna meet with them. Set up a truce between our families. Don Mangano sounds like someone I want to have on my side. Good. But if things don't work out with Mangano, just walk away. Don't cross him. If he doesn't agree to the truce, so be it. But don't make him your enemy. Samuel is not someone who forgives easily. Huh. Interesting. An alliance with the Manganos could pay off. As long as they don't double-cross us. Sorry, it'll never happen again. I see. I know it won't. Because this woman is not Oh, you're in deep shit now, man. Mangano's. Think you can trust them? Michael trusts them. So do I. Slow down. Ain't that... Nah, must have been someone else. Don Mangano. It's an honor. It's been a long time since we last met. See, si, in Cuba. A bad day. We lost nearly everything in the revolution. Tell me, how did your family fare? It was a setback, but it wasn't bad. Whatever doesn't kill us makes us stronger, right? That's right. We survive and learn from our mistakes. And one thing I have learned since then is never go into business without someone you trust. Dominic, I've purchased this warehouse for some export work, but I respect that Florida is your territory, so I want to operate it in partnerships with your family. I want to form an alliance with you. Will you agree? Yes, you have my blessing and my friendship. We'll be strong together, Don Mangano, and I hope that this alliance will mean even better things in the future. I'll see you around. Let's finish off those Granados punks. I'm getting sick of them. This is so exciting, I think I wet my pants. Next time I talk to a girl, I'll find some. Those Granados guys are real assholes. But they're assholes with a lot of money. Well. Say cheese, asshole. This day is just too much excitement. I gotta slow down. Play me some bingo. Me. Hey, talk to me. You should go get a drink or something. Whenever you get done with business. Nice car. Too bad I won it. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Nothing happened. Got it? I wonder what Fredo's up to. I don't know. Think he's tried calling me?
This ain't Russia. People own these cars. Rado, what's happening? I hope you don't mind. I made myself a drink. You want me to get you something? No, thanks. This heat, it's something else. On the rocks, keeps you cool. You got a point. So, what did you want to see me about? It's about Michael. What about him? I was just wondering, back in Cuba, when Mr. Roth... <laughs> You okay? No, I'm not okay. Fuck, what the fuck was that? I didn't see who did it. They got away too fast. I'll tell you who did it. That backstabber Mangano. I think you're right. Damn it. Why would Mangano double cross us? Who knows? But he sure as hell didn't come here to make friends. We're on the street is he's smuggling men and guns into Florida. He's getting ready for a war, Dominic. He's probably been playing you since the day you landed. So what are you saying? Did we hit him back? Eye for an eye. Get him now while he's weak. I know a guy, a union boss, who can get us into their warehouse. Take over the place. Run Mangano out. Trust me on this. Okay. If Mangano's preparing for war, then that piece of shit's gonna get one. And Dominic, you'll need more muscle. You got a lot of good guys in your family. Make one of them another capo. This is your best chance to wipe out those bastards. Don't waste it. Fucking Manganos. What kind of shit are they trying to pull here? You saw the sons of bitches who tried to kill you, right? I didn't get a good look, but they were sent by Mangano. I just know it. The street's big you know enough for one with a dice game around here? You Charlie Green? Like Maybe. Balls. Depends on who's asking. My name is Dominic. I'm a friend of Fredo Corleone's. Ah, Fredo. I ain't seen that son of a bitch in months. If Fredo sent you, it can only mean one thing. That one of you guys needs something from me. I need bridge access to the warehouse. Your union guys ain't gonna help me unless you give the okay. Ask around about me. People will tell you, I know how to return a favor. Well, lucky for you, I have a situation on my hands. This new guy, Hector Santos, he's gunning for my job, but he plays dirty. I need him to disappear. Hector's been spreading money around, buying votes. He's even hired thugs to harass my family. 
Take care of him for me, and you'll get across that bridge. They're trying to hit our businesses. Dominic? Over there! This is our turf. He thinks he's getting Do away. You want him dead, Chief? You'll have to do it. Yeah? Fuck off! Drop it! Think you all look what you made of it. Right off! Is this gonna help you find the cat? Should have stayed in school, asshole. Pig. Got a warehouse. It's the only racket he's got in this country. Good. Then it shouldn't be too hard to send him packing back to Sicily. We gotta do this. We gotta hit Mangano back. Show him who's in charge here. Lower the bridge. I need to get across. You got it. Mr. Green already called ahead with the authorization. California. Heard it's a hip time there. Company. Fuck, another one!
set a bomb there. got in this place. Let me guess, you're here to negotiate a deal, that it? No one runs a racket in this city without giving me a cut of the action. Got it? Never. This racket belongs to me, got it? <coughs> well, look who we <coughs> found. <coughs> I'll be damned, another hard ass. You okay. willing to die for this shithole? Because that's what's gonna happen. All right, you want this place, it's yours.
Lower the bridge. I need to get across. Sorry, man. This bridge only moves when the boss says it moves. If you've got a problem with that, take it up with Charlie Green. Yes. Who's this? Samuel Mangano, you stabbed me in the back, Philly Bagasa. Stab you in the back? You sent gunmen to my home, Mangano. My home. You lie. I did no such thing. I saw your men with my own two eyes, Mangano. Don't think you can bullshit me. I'm telling you the truth, Dominic. Look, we need to have a sit down. Your family and mine. Meet me behind the old factory. I cannot say any more over the telephone. What's with these guys? Peace, war, peace, war. Make up your goddamn mind. Out of the car, and no one gets hurt. These Vanganos are starting to make me sick. Yeah? Well, just keep your shit together a while longer. Now's not the time to make mistakes. Smell bacon. Come on, let's split. Cops are still trying to figure out what happened back there. off the leash. Over here, Dominic. Who are you? Where's Samuel? Don Mangano doesn't deal with backstabbers, asshole. My name is Paolo. I'm his consigliere. Backstabber? You guys tried to have me killed, Paolo. Is that what you think? Let me tell you something. If we wanted to kill you, you'd already be dead. Fuck you. Don't think you can threaten me. You know who I am. Yeah, you're a shit. You gave us your word and you broke it. You think that's gonna fly with a Sicilian? The Manganos gave you a chance and you fucked up. I don't have to fucking listen to this. Yeah, Dominic, you do. Cause it's the last thing you're ever gonna hear. You are history. Your men, dead. Your businesses, they belong to us now. It's time your family learns how we do things in the old country. You're a dead man.
The Maganos are at war, Fredo. We have to warn Michael. No. Don't bring Michael into this. Why not? He could be in trouble. Don't you see? The trial. He can't get involved. The Senate will be all over him. We gotta go to Mr. Roth. He knows the Manganos. He'll know how to fix this. You think Mr. Roth will be alone? Because that CIA spook freaks me out. I don't get it. Nice wheels! I want them. Go after the place. Too close to their territory. Well, time move now. I know this place we're going. It's safe, secluded. Good spot for me. That's good to know. Still, when we get there, keep your eyes peeled. Leon finds out about this, shit, we'll all get it. Hey, I'll... Roth. He's a survivor, what did I tell you? Somebody's watching over you. Sicilians are not known for their mercy. It's been chaos. The important thing is that you're all right. There's gonna be more bloodshed. Nobody wants another war. I can settle matters with Mangano, but I can't help you unless you're willing to help me. Can you see it? Dominic, it's our future. Cuba, 90 miles away. No goddamn Justice Department, no FBI. That was the past. Don't give up on Cuba. Not yet. Why not? Because we haven't given up. The CIA wants to change in Cuba as much as you do. We have different agendas, but we have the same goal. And we have resources, intelligence. The only thing we don't have is a way to get inside. Anyone can get inside Cuba. Smugglers do it all the time. That's not what I mean. Look, we want to restore order there. We funded dissidents, staged invasions, but None of these things are working. It's time for a new approach. No more big operations this time. Just one man inside, close to the government. Someone the Cubans feel they can trust. And what's this someone gonna do? Kill Castro. Bring back the president. And we're trying to protect this country from communists, Dominic. You can be a part of that. Think about the possibilities. No more enemies. Partnership with a democratic government in Cuba and having the cash to make everything possible. And the U.S. would turn a blind eye to any money you make there. Dominic, we'd be bigger than U.S. Steel. Fifty cents for a movie? What's that spook doing How here, huh? I, that? I don't like secrets, Dominic. Out of my way, guys. What's bothering you? You need something? Yeah, I got some work that needs doing. I'm talking about sabotage. Smash up a place and smash it up good. You want in? Sorry, I can't help you. I don't want to be kept in the dark, Mitchell. If I'm gonna do this, you gotta tell me everything. Naturally. The plan's simple, really. We're going to exploit Castro's two weaknesses. The political dissidents and his economic problems. The dissidents? They're loyal to the ex-president, right? You said you were supporting them. We'll cut ties when you arrive. I hate to sacrifice them, but it's the only way to get close. Castro has basically declared open season on the ex-president supporters. Anyone who takes up arms against them is considered a hero of Castro's so-called revolution. So I start a campaign against them and make friends with the government. What then? I'll use my sources to spread information about you. That you're sympathetic to the revolution, maybe looking to expatriate. But more importantly, that you have strong business ties in the West. Well, that part's true. Exactly. So if they look into it, your story checks out. Dominic, all you have to do is play along. It'll get you close to Castro. Believe me, closer than anyone before. 
And once he's gone, we prop up the ex-president and purge the Reds. After that, anything you want from Cuba is yours. I don't know, boss. Cuba could be a good place to hide out for a while. It probably has subtitles. If I want to read, I'll read a book. the car now call the cops Cuba what the fuck why are you taking us there because we need to lay low and because I made a deal with mr. Roth look just trust me on this while we're in Cuba he's gonna take care of things with Magana Under attack. They want their turf back. Would you like to book a flight, sir? Have a pleasant flight, sir. Who is this? Mitchell? Right. I'm in Cuba. Let's meet some. It's weird, driver. but I feel like I can't keep I'm a low profile ready. here. I don't know how that Mitchell does it. Is it safe to talk here? Cubans know how to respect your privacy. One of the few things we can learn from them. Come on, let's get down to business. All right then, business. So, have you done your part yet? Yes, we spread the word through all our channels. Everyone's talking. There's an important American in the country. He supports the revolution. The government thinks you want to expatriate. They're reading it up. Okay, so what next? I'm going to give you information on a number of dissidents in the city. 
You need to take them out, but do it carefully. It needs to draw the government's attention, but it has to be the right kind of attention. Understand? Don't worry about me. I'll keep up my end of the bargain. Good. It shouldn't be long before someone takes notice. Let them make the first move, though. Make them feel like they're in charge. And Dominic, don't forget your cover. Remember, you support this regime. It's the only way to get close. Good luck. Paolo. It's cute, but that one is muy guapo. Give me the fucking car! Run! You're not straight there, officer. Don't worry, Don. They're gonna be tough. These assholes off the leash. Move it, I can't get out. Lead foot always beats a flat. You can stop this. Just say the word.
close, all right? Get ready to pull him over! Over there. We got to pull back. See him? Over there. Get for you. Jump him! Take it from me, you don't want to get shot. Come the shitheads. They took that place. Place. Good riddance. Get hurt? This'll fuck him up good. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hurry. Allí está. Put that away. El hombro. Uh, hola. Is this Senor Dominic? Yeah. Who is this? This is Zed. My name is Maria. Maria Torres. I work for the office of El Presidente. How can I help you? Perhaps you should be asking, how can we help each other? We've been watching you. You seem to be a supporter of the Revolución, verdad? Uh, true. Dominic, there are officials in the government who wish to meet you. Please come to the Presidential Palace. You can stay here as a guest of honor. We will talk more then. Adios. <laughs> Find some place else to be, all right? Señor Dominic, mucho gusto. Bienvenido. Hola. Uh, sorry, I don't speak Spanish. I know. I am your translator for tomorrow's meeting. Follow me. One day, this palace will be a museum. What kind of museum? Un museo de la revolución. Can you tell me what this meeting is about? Didn't anyone tell you? The revolution. And why you, Señor Dominic? Un americano. Apparently want to join the struggle. There are more of us who support your cause than you think. See, si. but very few come to Cuba and risk their lives to fight dissidents. Especially ones with unusual business ties. The American embargo is hurting our people. We need to get our exports out. We need money. But most of all, we need a partner. Someone with access to boats, ports, and officials in the United States. That is why you are here. You will stay here tonight, as a guest of El Presidente. Thank you. Your equipment will be secured until after the meeting. I will meet you in the morning. And please, do not wander at night. I hope you understand. Si. Buenas noches.
see him over there. Okay, guys, playtime's over. Oh, my goodness. You hit like a chick. Sí. Vente. Ten listos a tus hombres. Busca el palacio. Who did this? ¿Dónde está? El americano. No lo encuentro. Dominic, I know you did this. Come out. Maybe you're afraid because I'm a stranger. I'm Esteban Almeida. I'm like you, un mafioso. But I don't hide like a coward. This government understands men like us. What we can do for them. We keep them in power. Too bad for you I was here first. And I'm coming for you, Americano. I'm coming. Por aquí, aquí. Por ahí. I see you. Stand still, chulo.
I'm giving you three seconds, shithead. Going on. El Presidente. The American tried to kill him. But Castro's alive? See. Si. God damn it, Dominic. Thank God. Dominic will pay for this. We will not be stopped, my friend. Didn't mean to bump into you. It's Michael. We need to talk. Come to the compound. Now. Leave the keys and get the fuck Don't out. Hurt me. Don Corleone Next sounds time I serious. talk to a girl, find someplace else to be, all right? I don't know what to tell you, Mike. Then tell me everything. Dominic, come in here. I warned you not to go against the Manganos. I thought, the both of us thought, the Mangano tried to have us killed. And you don't come to me? With the trial, it seemed best not to get you involved. So you turned her, Roth. Fredo, whose idea was that? Mine. You know, my brother, Fredo, and I love you. But to go to Roth without telling me, you put yourself ahead of the family. You've never seen the big picture, Fredo. Now the Manganos are at war with us. This Cuban family, they muscle in, backed up by God knows who. Is there anything you can help me out with? Anything you can tell me now? It was Roth's plan to cross the Manganos. Roth's plan? I swear to God, I didn't know there'd be a war. He told me the Manganos were weak. That if I can get Dominic to help him out in Cuba, it'd be good for the family. Roth's back in the Almeidas. He's playing us. He said there'd be something in it for me. On my own. I've always taken care of you, Fredo. Taking care of me? How? Set Fredo off to do this. Set Fredo off to do that. I'm your older brother, Mike, and I was stepped over. 
twice! It's the way Pop wanted it. Well, it ain't the way I wanted it! Fredo, you're nothing to me now. Not even a brother. You broke my heart. You broke my heart. Mikey. I don't want anything to happen to him while Roth's alive. Michael, I'm sorry. I never wanted things to turn out like this. You made a mistake, Dominic. You're a Don. You have to know who you can trust. I know I have your loyalty, but it's like my father told me. Keep your friends close, but your enemies closer. You're right. I just never thought that it'd be Fredo. Damn it. Listen, I can help. I want to make things right. Good. Look, the Senate investigation is moving forward. Geary's doing what he can, but I can't take any chances. Not with Frank Pentangeli on the witness stand. So, I've arranged for a backup plan. What is it? I contacted a source in Sicily and found Frank's brother. His name is Vincenzo. He came here right away. He's a man of honor, a Don in his hometown. Vincenzo understands the importance of Omerta. Something Frank has forgotten. What do you plan to do? Bring Vincenzo to the trial. If Frank is going to testify against me, he'll have to do it in front of his own brother. Blood is thicker than water, Dominic. Here, Tom will tell you more. Tom, I just found out about Vincenzo. I know. He's been very helpful. Vincenzo has been staying at your safe house here in New York. He finds it incredible that Frank would testify about this thing of ours. What's the next step? Meet with Vincenzo. Introduce yourself. He needs an escort to the hearing. I don't expect any trouble, but with Roth and the Almeidas working together, we have to be careful. And one more thing. I think the time is right for you to promote one of your captains to underboss. We need the extra leadership, especially now. And an underboss can also give you more support in battle. Make your choice carefully. It's an important one. Let's go get Vincenzo. acting awfully weird. Maybe I should report her. something. But if you get a lead, make sure it checks out. But hurry, Michael's counting on you.
Pardon me, have you seen this man? His name is Vincenzo Pentangeli. That guy? Yeah, he got in a cab with these two Italian goombas. Said that he was going to the south side docks. These good hey, I'm looking for the guy in this picture. Have you seen him? Yeah, saw him at my cafe. I remember these three guys were giving him a hard time. I'll give those kids a nickel more, but that's it. That's all. This game's rigged. Could you take a look at this picture? I'm looking for this man, Vincenzo Pentangeli. I seen him. Saw him and three of his pervy friends going into that brothel. The, uh, Maison Rouge. Excuse me, but I'm looking for someone. Have you seen this man? His name is Vincenzo. Ese es su amigo? Sí, lo vi en la Casa Roja con tres otros muchachos. I'm trying to walk here. A friend of mine is missing. This man. Have you seen him? Sí. He lives in the apartment above mine. He's nice. Said buenas noches to me before he turned in last night. Get the fuck out! Don't hurt me! No lo creo! You put that <coughs> up, Boca, man. That way. Blow it up. You need a bomb here? Just let me know. You want a tripwire here, Cap? Since they'd go after the place. Too close to their territory. Now move now. There! Fight! You're dead. He's gonna kill you. What's that? We can't hear you. Jump him! Which one's your favorite rib, pal? Let's get these guys! You wanna see someone else get hurt? Get me out of here! 
Don't mess with me, Tauron! There goes another unhappy customer. I am for the trap, I got <coughs> my arm! Cut this <coughs> deal! <coughs> Spare me! <coughs> Let go of me! Where are you hiding, Vincenzo? Tell me, and I might let you live. Okay, I'll talk. He's being held at a safe house nearby. He's still alive, but you'll have to hurry. <laughs> He's gonna kill me! Who's <laughs> next? Nice. Roth paid us to kidnap the old man, not to kill him. I handed him over to one of his associates. Shit, he's over here! You're mine! Let me go! You're mine! I can't take much more! Leave the keys, and get the fuck out! Alright, I'll see you later. Are you all right? Tutte bene. Who... who are you? My name is Dominic. I'm a friend of Michael Corleone. Michael? The trap? It is too late. My brother, Frank. We still have time. I'll take you there, but we have to hurry. Okay, take me there. I cannot allow Frank to do this, to break a murder, to burn in hell. Andiamo. Will everyone be seated? We have here today a witness who will testify to Michael Corleone's rule over a crime empire that controls all the gambling in this country. He can corroborate enough charges to recommend a count of perjury against Michael Corleone. Senator? Thank you, Mr. Pentangeli. Mr. Pentangeli, were you a member of the Corleone family? 
Did you serve under Vito Corleone, also known as the Godfather? I never known no Godfather. I got my own family, Senator. Mr. Pentangeli, you are contradicting a sworn statement. I ask you again, were you a member of a crime organization headed by Michael Corleone? I don't know nothing about that. Oh, I was in the, uh, in the olive oil business with his father, but that was a long time ago. We have an affidavit that you murdered on the orders of Michael Corleone. The FBI guy promised me a deal, so I made up a lot of stuff about Michael because that's what they wanted. And I kept saying, Michael Corleone did this, and uh, Michael, Michael Corleone did that. But it was all lies. I'm going to find out what the hell happened here. Senator! Senator! I move to adjourn this committee. The committee owes this man an apology. The witness is now excused. Christ, can you imagine if we didn't get here in time? Thank God you did. I could see it in him. Frank was gonna talk, <laughs> but it's over now. You should go ahead and speak with Michael. He's in the defense chambers. Five cents to mail a letter? Are they kidding? Frank Pentangel. And, and what the hell? Just like that, in front of everyone. I told you you would. I don't get you people. Congratulations, Michael. The plan worked. It's over. It's not over. Not yet. Pat, where's Henry Mitchell? I don't know. The CIA can't find him. I think he's turned, working for another family. Mitchell's like a bad penny. He'll turn up. You better hope he doesn't. And why not? Mitchell was working with Roth. Anything Roth knows, Mitchell knows. About us, about you. Christ, he could sell us out. Or what if he goes public about Cuba? What if he talks? He won't talk. I want him gone. I want them all gone. Michael. I mean it, Tom. Mitchell, the Almeidas, everyone. They'll keep coming for us, for our families. You've won. Do you have to wipe everyone out? I don't feel I have to wipe everyone out. Just my enemies. That's all. I'm leaving for Vegas soon, so I'll be brief. Do you understand what I'm saying? Of course. My family will always support you. Good. All of them, Dominic. Every family, every racket, every made man. And Henry Mitchell, too. He's probably a bigger threat than you realize. No. I know how dangerous he can be. Okay, Michael. Leave it to me. Thank you. This is a critical moment for you and for your family. What you do now will make history. <laughs> Relax, Senator. You played your part perfectly. Don't tell me to relax. I'll do business with you. That doesn't mean I have to accept this dishonest way you pose yourself. And, uh, I hope we can count on you to cover this up, Senator. The ball's already rolling. That little plot the two of you cooked up in Cuba, the mob and the CIA in bed together, it's a disgrace to the country. It'd bring down the administration. Now, everything on Mitchell is already being covered up at the highest levels. Tell me what you know about Mitchell. Where he might be hiding. Anything. I told you everything I know. Mitchell's seeking protection with another family. If he feeds them information, they'll be able to strike wherever it hurts you the most. And if he spills his guts to the papers, well then, just pack it up. We're done for. A disgrace? <laughs> We're both part of the same hypocrisy, Senator. History might redeem us. All right. 
I'm sure 40 years from now, nobody will even bat an eyelash that the CIA and the Mafia conspired to kill a foreign leader. Like it's just par for the course. Hell no. Mark my words. No one will ever find out about this. Let's do this, Dominic. I'm gonna wait up for her. She's got another thing. Will you be flying with us today, sir? Enjoy your trip, sir. Dominic, I smell pig if we do it my way. I'm thinking of moving to Canada. Why don't you pendejos watch where you're going?
I love the smell of freedom. To See ya, cops.
jacket. Come on, cat. Find some cover. Set a bomb there. Blow it up. Chief, we can trip him up here and end the chase. He's got tricky tumblers, but I think I can crack it. Need a bomb here? Just let me know. Think you want a tripwire here, Cap? Here? I see him over there. Still there? Drop it! Follow me! This one's all yours. Anybody want to smoke?
stay here forever. Do it. Listen. Step away from the door. Good shot. You want some time? Nice. Blow it up. Wake up, we gotta
Got us covered. One bomb here, and it all comes Blow down. Blow it up. You want a tripwire here, Captain? Let's go! 
gonna blow! way. Go. Do it. Pow! Set a bomb there. Next guy gives me the eye, he's gonna pay for us not doing shit all night. Come on, go! I see you. Put that away. <laughs> Blow it up. Thank you. 
stay cool. Tom, how's it going? Where are you? Flowering. I'm here with Michael. Now come to the safe house when you're ready. There's something we need to discuss. Goodbye. You've done it, Dominic. The Almeidas, the Manganos, everybody. They're gone because of you. You've made a name for yourself. A name that people respect. Don Corleone. Thank you, Michael. It's an honor. But there's one more thing you want to do, isn't there? Yes. Hyman Roth. He's still alive, but he's out of the country. There's no way to get to him. No. He's here, in Florida. Senator Geary had him extradited on corruption charges. He lands at the airport soon. Whoa. The airport? Trying to kill him there would be impossible. They'll turn him over to the Internal Revenue Service, Customs, and half the FBI. It'd be like trying to kill the president. It's not impossible. Nothing's impossible. Just talk to Tom. If anything in this life is certain, if history has taught us anything, is that you can kill anybody. Hitting Roth in such a public place, it's gonna be dangerous. Yes, but you may never get another chance. He'll probably be arraigned and taken into custody. Once he's in the system, there'll be no way to get to him. How did you get him back in the country? Geary called in a favor. He had Roth extradited on corruption charges. He's been living abroad, making new contacts. It doesn't surprise me that Michael is worried. Hyman Roth can be very persuasive. Roth is going to be protected. What are we looking at? He'll have some protection. How tight it is, I couldn't say. Expect him to be decently guarded, maybe by professionals. It won't be easy to get into the airport packing heat. No, it won't. You can probably bribe someone to avoid going through the metal detectors. But once you're inside, you'll have airport security to deal with as well, so bring some men you can trust. Roth is going to be protected, not just with his own men, but by the cops. Look, I know who you are. So you can be straight with me. What do you want? All right, then. Let's be straight. I need to get through and speak with Mr. Roth. If you help me, I won't forget the favor. Okay, you got it. Just whatever your business is, make sure nobody gets hurt. My friends work here.
twice as before we just Much more I can take. Jump. It doesn't have to be like this. You betrayed me, Roth. Why? Tell me. Because that's the life we chose. It was only business, Dominic. Your hands! Stay close, all right? It's over. I know. I always knew you'd make it. Come with me. You've earned something. Godfather, it's an honor. Dominic, you proved something today. You proved that I was right about you and you've earned my respect.
grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Fredo, I'm sorry. <laughs>